I'm Brad Lamack. We're in Los Angeles for this edition of Inside the Business of Acting. This is segment four with Los Angeles-based casting director and general all-around pretty good guy. Michael Donovan. <laughs> Mostly. Is here. <laughs> this series of programs is uh, here to give you kind of an inside look on career journeys, turning points, lessons learned on the way in our attempt to, uh, much like the I didn't hold it up once. You didn't hold it up once. Business of Acting book, which I just happened to have here. Uh, teaching uh, actors, whether new to the business or sort of in the middle of your career, how to empower your career journeys to the, to the next step. I, I've been putting this off, of yes, course, you have. for three segments. Yes. Los Angeles has never, until recently, mm -hmm. been thought of as a theater town. Mm -hmm. I mean, the uh, whole thought process was if you wanted a career in theater, why you went to New York, and mm -hmm. if you wanted film or television, why you came here to Los Angeles. But, but there's been a, a renaissance of sorts over the last few years where Los Angeles is now on the map, mm -hmm. as it should be, with um, productions that happen here and productions that come from here and that end up on Broadway. Absolutely. We've, we've built, I've done nothing. I've bought tickets and gone. <laughs> and people, we thank you for thank that. Thank you very much. <laughs> But people like you are at the forefront of, of creating and maintaining this. It not only serves the purposes of, of the people who want to buy the tickets and be entertained, mm -hmm. um, it, it's hugely uh, important for, for the actor base in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Who can build a resume by working in these productions? How wonderful. So, so what's your take on why that's happened now? Well, first of all, I think there's a, a difference in um, respect for the theater. I think for a while there was a kind of a real division. You were film and television or you were theater. And, um, and now I think there's a lot of marriage going on between the two. And where the industry, I don't think, necessarily uh, went to the theater that much, I think that's changed as well. And you have a lot of film and television stars are doing theater and vice versa. So. And you have directors that are directing both. We both work with a few of them together. And so um, it's, I think it's not quite the big divide that it once was. And, um, and I think that also like st uh, some of the stars understand they're making plenty of money when they're doing film or television. So they can afford to do theater where they're going to make less money, but it will probably feed their soul. And, and, and that's why a lot of them do that, too. Well, so they're returning to their roots I mean, absolutely. in those cases, right? So absolutely. So you cast for the Pasadena, Pasadena Playhouse, Playhouse out yeah. here in Pasadena. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have wonderful work being done at, yeah. at the Geffen. We have wonderful work being done at, at Reprise. Mm -hmm. There's I also cast for yeah, and there's, there's I, ICT in Long Beach. Right. There's the Music Center downtown, which is the Dorothy Chandler and the Amundsen and the Mark Taper Mark, Forum. And Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas it's is now part of it. Work Absolutely, yeah. Uh, it goes on on the Laguna Playhouse. Yeah. There's uh, the Falcon Theater. There's the Colony Theater. I mean, it's. We get to La Jolla and La Jolla, Sandy. I mean, we were, right. Ensemble the, Theater, Santa Barbara. The, the, the work that's happening here, I mean, we used to be sort of a stop on tours mm -hmm. like Chicago, like mm -hmm. a lot of huge cities. And we still are. I mean, we still, there's still Wicked and oh, Lion yeah. King. And but Wicked is a sit-down production now. Yes, which, yes, uh, yes. Which is interesting, because yes. it did so well right. on the other time that right. they decided, oh, Los Angeles wants Wicked. So. And, and it was interesting that I heard um, that the Kodak Theater is now going to house, uh, soon, they're going to do a Cirque production that's going to be a sit-down oh, production. Great. So that's terrific. But mm -hmm. there's also stuff originating here. Absolutely. And, and that's what, what I'm passing in play us. We're doing Mask, the musical, right now, based on the Cher movie. Uh, we did Sister Act, the musical, which is going to London, and then, I guess, New York after that. Ray Charles Live, which is also a brand new show, which uh, is also hopefully going to New York. I mean, so it, there's a lot of things. I mean, uh, Curtains came out of Los Angeles. Uh, Rousey Chaperone. Rousey Chaperone. So there's uh, a lot of, uh, this is becoming sort of the out-of-town tryout, if you will, and then take it into New York. Yeah, so. It's becoming what Boston it, right? has been for right? so long. Yeah. We talked on, uh, oh, I, it was segments ago, that part of the disconnect is that it, it, actors need to change their focus with regard to smaller theater here mm -hmm. and not just look at it as an opportunity to showcase, but an opportunity to perfect and work on their art. So Keep their instrument tuned. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Very important. And there's a lot of wonderful stuff happening here, too. It's a chance for you to do a role that maybe you wouldn't normally be seen as. Uh, work with a director who maybe you wouldn't be able to, you know, get into. Uh, and 
or the crossover thing where you're working with a, a director we mentioned before who's directing you in theater who also directs Ugly Betty or who yes. uh, I worked with with David Lee. We both worked with David Lee. David Lee is the creator of Friends of of, of, of Frasier rather, Frasier, a creator of Frasier. Jefferson's and and Cheers, Jefferson's Cheers, Cheers and 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 David is pretty much not even doing television anymore. He's doing theater now. So you never know how it's gonna end Sheldon Epps, who's the artistic yes. director of Pasadena Playhouse, also directs television. So uh, there's a lot of crossover now, and so it's a wonderful opportunity for you in terms of the business to uh, keep your instrument tuned, perfect your, uh, your work, and then also maybe get some other work out of it for doing that. Be seen in, in the right sort of frame of mm -hmm. mind. And it's just getting a lot of attention. The press is giving it a lot more attention than it used to. Uh, we're not the bastard child of the industry. <laughs> That's true, and even though the uh, press is shrinking in Los Angeles, yeah, you yeah. Know, there, it's finding coverage in other and Online even the small theaters, the they're, they're covering this. I'm doing right now Great Expectations, the musical. It's a developmental production. It's a small little production they're doing to see where it's going to go next. It's Critics' Choice in the LA Times. It's Pick of the Week in the LA Weekly. So there's a, there, there seems to be an embrace of new work and a real interest on the part of the community uh, in, in seeing new works, which is very exciting. You know, we're not just doing all the old chestnuts, dragging them out every time. So it's embrace great. these opportunities if you are in Los Angeles or coming to Los Angeles. It, it's a, an amazing journey talking with you because it, it is a, a huge perspective, I think, that is a, a enormously important for actors at any stage and just people interested in how we, how we do this. I want to tell you folks that Michael Donovan offers what I think is the best class in, in commercials, commercial workshop, you. if you're here in Los Angeles. And you can get information about that on uh, the resources page at thebusinessofacting.com. <laughs>